Good evening. It's Sunday the 20th of November and it's time for the news on Rick Chu. President Nikos Anastasiades and Turkish Cypriot leader Mustafa Kenji have begun two days of UN-brokered talks in Montpellier, Switzerland, in an attempt to wrap up discussions on territory. They had met at the same resort between November the 7th to 11th, but despite progress, they failed to reach a deal. The new talks began at 10 a.m. Cyprus time, broke for lunch, and had separate discussions with their negotiating teams at 2.30 p.m. Cyprus time, and resumed joint talks again tonight over a working dinner. UN Special Advisor Espan Barthaida is expected to make statements late tomorrow, but it remained unclear whether the leaders would follow suit. Asked by journalists to say whether further progress and convergences were achieved during the meeting as regards the territorial adjustment criteria, informed sources said they did not have anything yet to say and recommended patience. At the same time, dates were already being banded about for a multi-party conference on security and guarantees. The most probable ones are December the 16th to 18th and December the 27th to 28th. However, the Greek Cypriot side has stressed that before convening a multi-party conference with the guarantor powers Greece, Turkey and Britain, the territorial criteria being discussed in Montpelleron needs to be reflected on a map and that remaining issues in the negotiations need to be resolved. Limassol District Court has remanded in custody a 31-year-old man from the coastal town for alleged possession of child pornography. He was also in possession of an unlicensed gun. Police said a search of the man's home in Limassol found a desktop, laptop, 10 USBs and 8 hard drives. One of the hard drives contained over 1,000 child porn images and videos. The man was arrested by officers from the Office for Combating Cybercrime in cooperation with the Central Limassol Police Station, which are investigating the case. A 33-year-old man from Limassol lost his life early this morning in a traffic accident on the coastal town's Eleftheria Street. Andreas Efram seems to have lost control of his motorcycle, which overturned after hitting pickets all along the pavement. A 30-year-old man, also from Limassol, riding on the back of the motorcycle, suffered minor injuries only. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan was quoted as saying that Turkey did not need to join the European Union at all costs and could instead become part of a security bloc dominated by China, Russia and Central Asian nations. NATO member Turkey's prospects of joining the EU look more remote than ever after 11 years of negotiations. European leaders have been critical of its record on democratic freedoms, while Ankara has grown increasingly exasperated by what it sees as Western condescension. Erdogan was quoted by the Hurriyet newspaper as also telling reporters on his plane on the way back from a visit to Pakistan and Uzbekistan that Turkey could be in the Shanghai Five instead, and that he had said this to Russian President Vladimir Putin and to other leaders who are in the Shanghai Five now. Erdogan also said that if Turkey were to join the Shanghai Five, this would enable it to act with much greater ease. China, Russia and four Central Asian nations, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan, formed the Shanghai Cooperation Organization in 2001 as a regional security bloc to fight threats posed by radical Islam, as well as drug trafficking from neighboring Afghanistan. Angela Merkel has announced she will seek a fourth term as German Chancellor in next year's election, ending months of speculation over whether one of the world's most powerful women wants to run again after 11 years in office. The 62-year-old Conservative is widely seen as a stabilizing force in Europe at a time of uncertainty after Britain's vote to leave the European Union and the election of Donald Trump as the next U.S. President. Earlier today, she met other leaders of her Christian Democrats in Berlin to prepare for a party conference in December, the last before the election. Polls published today showed that some 55% of Germans want Merkel to serve a fourth term, with 39% against. 
At least 107 people were killed and more than 150 injured when an Indian express train derailed this morning in northern Uttar Pradesh and the toll is set to rise amid a scramble to locate survivors in the wreckage. Police officials said people were still missing as authorities were trying to ascertain what caused 14 carriages of the train traveling between the northeastern city of Patna and the central city of Indore to suddenly roll off the tracks 65 kilometers south of Kanpur city. Authorities said they were checking what condition the tracks had been in but added they would need to look further before concluding the cause of the derailment. With the death toll set to rise, the derailment could become India's worst rail tragedy since 2005. And now a look at the weather. Clear skies in the morning, but gradually turning overcast. Winds will be light to moderate, easterly to northeasterly, force 3 to 4 over moderate to rough seas. Temperatures will rise to 23 Celsius inland and in coastal regions, and 13 over the mountains. The fire hazard remains high in all forest areas. That's all for today. Join us tomorrow for more news in English. Have a very good evening.